Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple temporary ladder out of some rope as well as wood. This kind of a ladder was used centuries ago by sailors, but it still has its applications today. Now, as mentioned, this is a temporary ladder, so it needs to be inspected before every use. It is made by using the Morlin spike hitch, which is a very useful knot, as you will see. With that said, let's get started. Now this sort of a ladder has the added benefit of being very compact and easy to put away. You basically just put it down and fold it into a small bunch. When you need it, you simply place it back up. Now before every use, such a ladder has to be inspected because the Morlin spike hitches could slip. To start our project off, we're going to need a piece of rope. Our rope needs to be sufficiently strong to hold a person, so it needs to have enough load-bearing strength. After we have our rope, we need to attach it onto an object. In my case, I'm going to attach it onto a metal ring, but you can attach it directly onto a branch or anything you're trying to climb. Now all you do is you make a lark's head knot. So in my case, I'm going to fold my rope in half, feed it through the ring, then pull my two working ends through this bite, Like this. Now for the actual ladder, we're going to move down from the very top a bit. We can't make our hitches here because the step is not going to be wide enough. So we move down. After moving down a sufficient length, I'm going to pick up the left strand. I'm going to pick up a piece of wood that is going to act for my first step. I'm going to wrap my left strand around my piece of wood, wrapping towards the outside. Then I'm going to pick up this back part here, and essentially I'm going to pull in a bit of my working end. Then I'm going to place this loop over the end of my piece of wood, and with that I have tied my first Morland spike hitch. Now on to the right side. On the right side, we're going to pick up the right end, or the right strand, wrap around on the right side of our step, pick up this back part here, pull it out, and place it over the end of our step. Then pull to tighten up your second Morland spike hitch. And with that we have our first step completed. So after making the first step, we're going to do the second one exactly the same way. So we take a piece of wood that is going to act for our step. We take the left end. We wrap it around. Coming towards the outer side. Then pick up this back part here. Pull it out a bit. Place it over the end of my step, and I have my left Marlin spike hitch. Then the right one. Again, I pick up my right end. I wrap it around, like this, towards the outside. Then I pick up this back part here and pull it out a bit. Place it over here on the right and pull to tighten up. And you can see that I have two steps completed. After adding a few more steps, this is what you get. So we have the triangular shape made with the rope at the top where we have attached our rope onto the ring. Then we have a series of steps.
Now for decorative purpose, I'm also going to show you how to finish this leather at the bottom. At the bottom you have a bunch of ways for finishing. The easiest is to do a simple overhand knot. So basically all you do is make a loop, then feed the two ends through it, and tighten up. And you get a simple double overhand, which is a decent way of finishing. For a more of a decorative finish, you could use a couple of snake knots here at the bottom, lining up one after the other. In my case though, I prefer the lanyard knot, so I'm going to show you how to tie it. So you take the left end, and you make a loop. Take the right end, and fold it towards the top, like this, and place it under the loop. Then take the right end, and pass it over this left part here, then under the left end, then here we're going to go over, under, over. So over, under, and over. Like this. Then we take this right end and go past this left part here, then under and through the middle. Then you take this bottom left part, or the end, I should say, go past this right part here, then under and through the middle. Then simply tighten up, and what you're going to get is a nice looking lanyard knot. It does need some more tightening up, but it already looks quite nice. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this project and that it will come in useful for you.